Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, I just did a two days ago. I did a, a Mr. Tackle Box review, and today I received Lucky Tackle Box. Uh, it's actually from uh, one of my subscribers sent it to me. Um, I fished with him a couple of times, and we talked over it. And I told him that I'm not a big fan of uh, Lucky Tackle Box, so. He sent me one as a gift, I guess. I already opened it uh, about half an hour ago. Couldn't find my glasses. I was gonna make the review when it was light outside, but either way. And let's see what they have inside. Vicious. Two jigs. I mean, tubes. Pub tube. Uh, I guess they're salted watermelon seed these actually work uh, pretty good for smallies and price tag on those was four dollars I guess this is a full pack yeah four inch full pack Chasing trophy fish. They got. I was just reading uh, the information behind it. That's a pretty. They have a pretty big claim. Uh, if you don't see the bait and just read the information, it sounds like they're gonna give life target run for their money it almost looks like a, a mega bass vision 110 junior junior because I have a 110 junior and this one is uh, smaller than junior Hooks are pretty sharp. But when it comes to the bait being realistic, maybe a little bit. But uh, it actually it's very light. So with the, if you have a cheap uh, bait caster, casting this will be absolutely absolutely difficult I don't know it doesn't say how heavy it is but uh, from what I can tell it will be real difficult to cast this other than that it looks, it looks pretty decent They're most expensive, it's from Boy Ducket. Swim bait. I know some of the uh, Mystery Tackle Box subscribers had a swim bait uh, as well instead of having a uh, Lucky Craft uh, jerk bait. But uh, I heard nothing good about Boy Ducket uh, products. Uh, I don't have any of them. Well, now I do, but uh, I usually go with the re online reviews about uh, boy ducket stuff, and I didn't read anything uh, positive about them. And it says uh, this one is twenty dollars. Oh, there's no way I'm gonna pay twenty dollars for this one. And we have uh, mustad hooks. Actually, I'm a huge fan of uh, mustad, uh, especially the KD uh, Kevin Van Dam line. Uh, they're pretty nice, decent hooks. And uh, what I notice about mustad is uh, they don't uh, they last 
uh, a bit longer than uh, other hooks that I tried even the uh, expensive uh, owner hooks owner hooks are real sharp but uh, I fish a lot of the dams and rocky areas so I get snagged up a lot and if they're real sharp uh, they become dull after a while so mustad hooks two thumbs up and we have worms from Cabin Creek what I noticed about these worms when I first got them in my hand I don't know if you guys can see one of the worms over here it has a nipple and there is five worms inside and all five are them in different size kind of strange but uh, these are finesse worms so these will work great for smallies and maybe big crappy bass for sure but I mean large mouth for sure but uh, not the big ones especially during summer uh, a lot of people who I know they're a big fan of worms they like to throw the huge ones I mean like six feet worm on a, a five foot rod that type of deal and it's kind of funny right uh, yeah but uh, these are finesse worms maybe um, drop shot or something we'll see and what else sticker and their magazine well like I said uh, this is why I'm not a huge fan of uh, Lucky Tackle Box I mean they do have uh, some stuff that uh, are yeah okay but uh, At least uh, from I had what three, four, not three Mr. Tackle boxes. Pretty much they line up. Uh, if they put uh, a jig and they'll put a trailer or something, they pretty much they try to match their uh, uh, baits and jigs and all that stuff. Uh, Lucky Tackle box. I think they just grab something and just throw it inside. It's, uh, if if you're sending tubes, I would uh, I would put uh, instead of putting hooks, I'll put uh, at least two um, tube jigs or tube weights or something that I can match it with the tubes, or let's say you're sending out worms. Which is nothing I can. I don't have anything against the product, but uh, I'm just saying it. It would be nice if they instead of sending uh, triple hooks, they can uh, put warm hooks inside, so you can match it with this. So, oh, uh, it it doesn't work. I mean, like I said, they they need to change uh, whoever is this whoever it's uh, matching these lures like okay I understand the jerk bait you don't have to match it with anything else or uh, the swim bait you know it's fine but when you're sending soft plastics it will be a good idea to match them you know it doesn't always have to be like oh you have uh, uh, so it's 20 28 28 this was Four hours, so you got thirty-two, and these are but they're expensive. So let's say you have close to forty dollars. Well, not forty, but thirty, mm, thirty-seven, whatever. Yeah, the value is more than mystery tackle box. But in order to use this, I gotta go spend money. Well, in order to use this. 
I gotta go spend money even though I already paid $15 or I think this mm, yeah for a second I thought he's bought me the Excel bags but no this is not the Excel bags okay yeah I mean you paid $15 for this and then you gotta spend money to buy more stuff to use this so that you guys know what I'm trying to get at it um, comment below see what your thoughts are and probably next month or actually I'll wait a little bit more but I'll, I'll try to get the uh, uh, pro box from uh, Mystery Tackle Box, I'm pretty much uh, pretty big, becoming a pretty big fan of them. Um, like I said, they do a great job uh, matching their baits and stuff, matching their uh, product with another product. So stay tuned, and I'll try to do sometime next week a slam. I'll post a video at the uh, end of next week, so that'll be Friday, August, August twentieth. Me. Sometime around there. Well, you'll see you next week.